The Saker Mini Chainsaw might be the next tool for you. Let's take a closer look at it. The Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw, 4-inch portable cordless electric chainsaw. North America 12 volt, Europe 18 volt max. Let's take a look at the box. These are the product selling points. Rechargeable electric chainsaw, lightweight and portable, easy to carry, strong, dynamic system. So what's in the box? Looks like it comes with a battery, charging pack, bar oil, chain, the chainsaw, screwdriver, and socket uh, for your uh, uh, chainsaw bar. Let's open it up. So you got your owner's manual and instructions. A wrench, screwdriver, chain oil, bar oil, your charging pack, chainsaw. And battery pack and battery. So I'm at the neighbor's house in his front yard, and we're here going to be testing out the Saker 4 inch 20 volt uh, rechargeable hand saw, well, mini saw, and what we're going to do is just trim up, show how it's used on pruning up a tree. All right, Stan, whenever you're ready. All right, wonderful. Okay, Stan, in your opinion, could you tell me about the build quality of that and how it performed when you used it? Uh, cut really well. Um, I mean, I, that one branch is a little thicker and it, it went through it pretty easily. Um, I do like the, the, uh, the uh, design of it. It's like really well balanced, it's not heavy or bulky. Um, I like the guard, they have guards on it, which I like those features, and I like that they got the uh, 
the safety in a really easy, like easily accessible spot. You can just do it with one hand. Um, seems like it's the the you know it's pretty easy to use and uh, a solid design. And uh, yeah, I mean it did a really good job of cutting through everything. Uh, I would I would definitely use or buy one. I don't, you know, trim trees very often, but it, I mean, it made it really easy. Um, didn't have to use pruners or anything, so it was nice on my hands. And uh, yeah, it's actually, I like the quality of it. It seems, it seems to be good quality. So in your opinion, what type of individual do you see buying this type of product? Um, I would say anyone who's trying to like uh, do it yourself, like trimming their shrubs, bushes, trees. Um, I mean, it definitely looks like it, it could probably handle something almost two inches in, in diameter. It, it, that one was probably an inch, inch and a half, and it cut through it really easily. So, um, I mean, didn't have to hurt my hands. I didn't have to hold a pruner above my hands to try to squeeze or anything. It made made the job really easily. I would say anyone who's trying to do the uh, do yard work on their own or, or just you know stuff like that. Um, and yeah, they, I mean, almost anyone could use it. It's, it's real simple. So they made they made a nice easy you know sleek design uh, uh, well i appreciate you uh giving this product a try mm -hmm. and i appreciate your opinion thank you no problem i got some scrap pieces of board here that is broken and so i'm going to use it to burn up in the fire pit now this is pressure treated lumber and so it's, it's pretty uh uh tough and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see how the Saker mini chainsaw does uh, with this board now always remember to use safety glasses I wear regular glasses so I really don't need safety glasses and to know how to truly operate your equipment and to read the operating and safety instructions before use always use your this tool charge it up before using and oil it up before using and if you use it for a long period of time be sure to oil it up during your use so let's give this a try that just cut about three inches of this two by well I guess it would be a broken two by eight so we'll do another cut we'll do another cut seems like it does pretty good three pieces relatively quickly I'll use that for starting my fires and we'll do one more cut So this is the Saker 20 volt, four inch mini chainsaw. So let's get to my final thoughts of the Saker four inch 20 volt mini chainsaw. For full disclosure, this mini chainsaw uh, I did not purchase. 
the company sent this to me for review to use test and to give my opinion on the product so when you saw the video you saw that we use the mini chainsaw as a pruner on the neighbor's tree and it did quite well the neighbor liked it and was impressed I took it in my backyard and I cut up a board with it and uh, I was quite impressed so let me tell you uh, what I thought I think about this as for the build quality the actual chainsaw itself the body of the chainsaw is really nice <laughs> The guard is nice, and the little hand guard is nice. So the good thing about this chainsaw is that uh, it's uh, easy to use. It's uh, ease of operation. And so, let me see. Oh, I didn't bring it up here. So this is the battery. And you charge it with the power cord right there and on the on the pack itself it has a light indicator it's red during charging and it turns green when it's completed and so you do get a wrench and a screwdriver and that is to tighten up your chain right here so the wrench is for this nut here and the screwdriver that they give you they have an adjuster screw right there I don't know if you can see it there it is so what you do is you loosen the bolt then adjust your chain, then tighten down your bolt. And so, they do give you an ounce of oil. Once the oil is out, uh, you could use mineral oil. And if you're uh, cutting trees, uh, such as fruit trees, they recommend like vegetable oil. And so, uh, it's light and it feels good in the hand and so who do I think this product is good for well it's good for those who prune their own trees it's for the small uh, property owner that has several trees on their yard and they get maybe some limbs fall to the ground and they want to cut them up and so uh, it's also good for the uh, camper and uh, if they are camping on uh, uh, property in which they can cut up wood, uh, small limbs, small pieces of wood for uh, about up to three inches or so. <laughs> in diameter uh, it's for the backpacker who may be going on a short hike into the woods and they need some wood uh, it's good for those who use uh, wood burning stoves and do some hot tending it's good for the overlander who uh, travels uh, out in the country back roads <clears throat> and so uh, I, I liked it uh, it's good do good for my needs and what I'll do is I'll put a link in the video description so you can check out the Saker mini chainsaw well I hope you liked this video if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, any comments, please place your questions and comments in the comment section below. Again, my name is John Coffey. 
I'm the Unpaved Explorer, and I am out of here. You take care, keep exploring the outdoors, and I'll catch you on the next exploration.